Hello everyone and welcome to today's webinar. Today we're going to be looking at the new version of Maestro 3.0 and in particular how to navigate around the system. So in the new release things have changed slightly in regards to the navigational menu. In previous versions of Air Maestro, you would have a horizontal menu across the top of the page and your Manage tool in the top right hand corner. That has now been removed and replaced with a dynamic vertical menu on the left hand side. This new menu is quicker and easier to use once you get used to it, obviously. So we're going to look at today a few sort of hints and tips on how to use this effectively. So firstly, looking at this left-hand side menu, you can see it's collapsed and it's got some higher level icons. So what do they mean and how do you sort of find out about that? So click your little double arrows at the top here to expand out your menu. And now you can see in detail what each of those icons mean. So firstly, you've got your alerts, which previously were located in your top right-hand corner of your page. They're now integrated into your menu on the left-hand side. And we'll touch on those in a little more detail after. You then have your My Profile options, which when clicked on, will give you all your sub-items that you can access in regards to your profile. We expand that out again. You then have your higher level modules, so operational modules, safety modules, there's a new general option, library and global reporting. So these two have a higher level icon because they're commonly used modules across all operators um, that they're used all the time, so that's why they deserve a high level icon. So how do we delve down even further into these icons and, um, and find out the sub-modules? So let's say we're trying to find something in operations, let's say the aircraft register. So starting from scratch, what we're going to do is we're going to either click on the double arrows here to expand out, or I can actually click on the operations icon here, and it will also expand out horizontally, but also vertically all the sub menus as well. So I guess once you get used to what the high level icons are, it will be quick and easy for you to navigate to those areas. So let's do that again. We'll click on operations and we'll go to aircraft. So clicking that aircraft will take me straight to the aircraft register. It'll collapse the vertical menu on the left hand side to give you more real estate on the page, but it will highlight the page that you're on so you can quickly go back to that and you can see that straight away. So if I want to navigate back to the home page, I've got my new home icon as well, navigate to home in the top left hand corner, which when clicked on will take you back to your Air Maestro home page. So that's firstly how to expand it horizontally and vertically. So let's just see that again. So we click the expand menu and that'll open it up horizontally. And then if you want to expand out one of the sub modules such as safety, click on that and you'll see all the safety modules listed. If I click operationals now that safety is already expanded, it'll collapse safety and expand operations as you can see. So the new menu I mentioned before was dynamic. It's actually heavily tied into your access levels now. So if you don't have access to see a module, you're not going to see it as an icon and a menu item here on the left hand side. It's only going to show you what you've got access to. So we said that there was a new item here called general. So if we click on that one, there's a few sub-level items here. So dashboards, which when clicked on will show you your order dashboards, your new recency dashboards, and the safety dashboard. Help, so all your help icons, just like before, which were under the help tool across the top. So your knowledge base, which is new. So if you are interested in, in finding out more about the knowledge base, uh, please certainly read the release notes. Ask a question straight to the help desk and the other sort of help links. Your, your links to external web pages still there. Uh, reporting, so previously there was a lot of individual pages related to reporting for sub-modules that were sort of randomly placed around the menu. menu. We've sort of can, made them more concise now and sit all within the one menu item. So clicking on that, you'll see all the sub-reporting options such as fade reporting, safety charts, company recency, status outcomes page, etc. So they're now all contained within the one reporting module. Again, the purpose of this menu is to keep it concise. And then the final one is setup, but I'm actually going to touch on that one a little bit differently. So you certainly can access it by going to expanding out general, going to setup and clicking on it. However, we've made it a very high level icon in the top right hand corner. So 
previously everyone was used to the manage tool in the top right hand corner. So if you're an administrator, you would have used that quite a lot, but there was a lot of sub menu items to the, to the manage tool and it was quite complicated. Now, if you just click on the setup icon in the top right hand corner, it'll take you to the settings page. And now all the setup pages are within the one page for quick and easy access. So all the general setup pages, such as Air Maestro data, manage links, personnel setup, and then operational specific menu items, such as flight record setup, rostering setup, and then your safety specific setup pages, such as safety custom fields and audit setup. So as I said, click on the setup icon and it'll take you straight to where all the previous manage setup pages were. Again, click in the Air Maestro logo or the home icon here will take you back to your home page. So that's the, the new menu and how to click around that. The last thing in that menu is these alerts. So we talked about before, your alerts previously would be located in the top right hand corner. A lot of people would miss these and not really see them, they weren't prominent enough. So now they're actually integrated into your left hand side menu on the, left, on the, um, the vertical menu. So when collapsed, you'll see the icon of the highest alert that you have. So if you have at least one critical alert, you'll get the red cross. If you don't have any criticals and you've got at least one caution, it will show you your caution icon. So that's why you can see that I've got the red cross there. If I click on that, it'll give me the pop-up straight away to see all my alerts, just like it would before in the top right hand corner, but now it's integrated into that menu. So that's the new side menu. The last thing is how to actually pin the menu. So this is especially important for people getting used to the new menu and they want to actually show it expanded the entire time instead of having to either click on the high level ops menu or clicking on the expand and collapse double arrows at the top there. So you will notice there's a new pin icon here. So when clicked on, it'll go yellow and face downwards and that'll now pin to your page. So if I was to go operations aircraft again, my menu will still be horizontally expanded out for ease of use. So of course, if you've got a large screen, this is great and it'll certainly benefit you. Uh, if you do have a slightly smaller screen, you might not want to have it expanded the entire time, but it's all personal preference. It'll remember your settings. So next time you come in, it'll be pinned. So that's the new uh, vertical menu on the left-hand side. If you do have any more questions, always call in, send us an email, we're happy to help. The last couple of things we're gonna look at are up the top here in this top row. So previously you would have a quick find in the top right hand corner where you could search for such things as aircraft, personnel, locations or safety reports and you would have to select it from a drop down list. Now we've got a new quick find menu here which you can search for anything um, without having to select it from that drop down list. So if you just hover your mouse over the information icon there, you'll see the items that you can search for. So you can search for specific aircraft, uh, forms now. So if you use the forms module, you can actually type in the exact ID of number of the form, whether it might be CM21 and hit enter, and it'll take you straight to that form. You can search for locations. You can search for pages. So this is a new one. You can actually search for any page in the system and also from your links menu as well. So if I just typed in, uh, recency, I could go straight to the recency setup page, for example. And then you can, as always, search for personnel, which is probably the most commonly used uh, search item in the quick find. And you can, as always, search for safety reports. So if I just typed in F10 and hit enter, I could go straight to that safety report. So let's see that in action. Let's start typing in Miller, and you'll see Joshua Miller pops up, and I can click straight on that, and it'll take me straight to that page. The benefit of that menu item now is that menu is actually a link as well. So if I typed in Miller, because it's a link, I can actually hold control on my keyboard, click on that, and it'll open up in a new window, not losing what I'm currently on my page. The final thing we're going to look at is just the print tool. So in the previous horizontal menu, you had the last menu item was print, and you could print from any page in the system. New items and just print what you've currently got active. It's still there, it's just now got a print icon at the top here. It does the same thing, it's just sort of condensed to make the, the menu look a little bit more concise. 
So that's our quick guide to the new navigational menu in the system and how to, how to jump around the system. So if you do have any more questions, as I said, feel free to contact the support desk. We're here to help. We do understand this is slightly different. We hope that once you get used to it, it will be quicker and easier to navigate around the page. Thank you for your time today.